Welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori, Spiritual Acceleration, and uh, we are doing conscious quantum conscious. <laughs> quantum consciousness. What does that mean? Quantum consciousness means we're in the acceleration for getting your consciousness to wake up faster. That's what's happening. I do want to share a little bit about what's really happening. We're what I call in a new paradigm. Just so you all know, I've been tracking um, life. <laughs> I've been tracking um, the the things that are happening globally, planetarily, and you know the Earth. And and way back, way back, it was in the '80s. I was teaching psychic development classes, and I saw and was shown, you know, that the new paradigm and what, that, what that's going to look like. But I also was shown that in order to really move into the new paradigm you have to let go of and you have to be at a certain level of frequency to be able to move through into the new paradigm so what that means is for, seriously all the, the the old ways the, the ways that we've been living the way the beliefs that we've had our cultural stuff ceremonial stuff everything that is of the old ways has to be let go of because that also was time of separation okay it was like me you know me pinned against you and and um you know the the dissension between each other and tribes and separation communities you know uh, cultural um you know ethnics and all of that everything was about separation so what's happening with the new paradigm it's it is about more about the oneness it's 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 dissolving that frequency of separation it's more about union it's more about um waking up seeing things differently uh and that's why we're seeing so much happening right now on the planet that has to do with racism and all this black dark energy that's that are arising so what's happening is as the new paradigm is getting stronger and brighter and lighter and the veil is continue to lift then whatever is not of light, whatever is of darkness, whatever is hidden in the subconscious, whatever is the negative, is going to be exposed. It's going to be brought to the surface. And that's what we're seeing right now in the world. Okay, all this stuff that's being activated, you know, the blackness, the darkness, the evil, the hatred, like I said, the racism, all of that is part of what has to come up and out in order for energies to start to shift and change. So we are at the precipice of the new paradigm and you know when i do clearings i actually do things that help people to move into that but partly what's happening what has to happen is the unconscious wounding the unconscious places where you're holding on to your victim where you're holding on to um, being right where you're holding on to karma so to speak um, all of it has to be dissolved because in the new paradigm, the frequency, if you could literally see the, what that frequency looks like, it has so much more light. Um, it's like this, if you saw something really dark and then you have something really light, well, the dark can't fit in the light anymore. The light will start to dissolve the darkness. Like a room, you go into a room, it's black, okay? Turn the light on, what happens? You can see everything. There's no longer darkness. Well, that's also what's happening right now in in this time that in this time period that we are in so for me you know like bringing awareness and doing things like what we're doing today and the quantum consciousness all of that is really about helping humanity helping people to unravel and clear and release and also a part of it has to do with you have to have some kind of understanding you have to have some kind of consciousness otherwise if i say to you okay well you know whatever happened to you you know that's that's victim consciousness if you keep holding on to that you're just going to bring bring in more more and more of that same kind of experience to you and then people will get mad because it's like what do you mean i'm not a victim this happened to me i was beaten i was raped i was you know abused i was you know stolen from all these things yeah it sounds like real victim but what people don't understand and what they've also sort of labeled as karma is you are a create you are creator incarnate you are the consciousness of creation itself made in form in physical form and because of that you feel like this is your life this is your body that you are separate okay so 
what's actually happening that we oftentimes call karma is your your soul at the soul level as you're trying to unravel and know thyself in very deep profound ways so you've called in and you've made agreements to have experiences that are showing you who you are in the physical body who you are in your your higher levels all of who you really are and the mastery is to be able to not grab hold of and and believe in something but to more let go and to meet life meet the energy without judgment but you can't have no judgment if your body is full of wounding okay so what we're doing as souls evolving is this is why, again, this is why we keep doing these lifetimes over and over and over, recreating the same old, same old, same old, oftentimes the same, same souls, because we haven't known thyself in the depths of the emotions that get activated through direct experiences of feeling victimized or abandoned or betrayed or feeling unloved, all that deep, deep wounding. We're trying to release all of that deep wounding now. That's what this time period is all about. And as we move into the new paradigm, that stuff has to be let go of, okay? The difficulty is most people have no clue that this is what's actually happening. We are moving into a new, new state of being, a new state of consciousness, and yet it's going to be more difficult, more struggle, and if we hold on to what is not the truth, okay? So um, let's, let's just kind of be aware. Let's just anchor in the thought. Let's just anchor this in, the thought, just the thought, the awareness that you, not just you, but everybody you know, is a divine being. Everyone is creator incarnate, okay? What if you just kind of like put that on, wear that for a moment? What if you just kind of own, and even just saying the words, hmm, I am creator incarnate. I am a divine being. And, and then let whatever resistances or whatever thoughts or whatever beliefs or whatever um, energy frequencies present when you claim that, when you own that, you know, just by saying, mm -mm, I am creator incarnate. I'm a divine being. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so there's going to be resistance. I'm going to tell you straight up, the resistance is not you. I'm also going to tell you straight up, your thoughts are not yours. Your, your reactions are actually not coming from you. It's all coming from all your dis, you know, distortions, wounding, misperceptions of reality, conclusions, beliefs, all of that. So in reality, underneath all your wounding is this beautiful light divine being that is the frequency of love, okay? I'm not talking the old baby, baby love. I'm talking pure heart open love, unconditional love which is what we all want. We all want to be loved unconditionally, accepted for who we are, witnessed for who we are, and not judged or made wrong. But at the same time, you are the creator of your world, okay? So again, you have to be able to own and, and acknowledge and at least move in the direction of awareness that you are the creator of your world, you're the creator of your life. You are 100% co-creating everything i don't care what's happening you are that you are doing that so again being a responsible being accountable by claiming and owning and and starting to anchor in that true true truth that you are a divine being you are creator incarnate and that you are co-creating all the time okay you're not a victim so what i want to do is i want to start looking at the belief system of karma in my world and from tracking and really looking at what we've been doing lifetime after lifetime, I wouldn't label it so much as karma as I would label it more like you're trying to know thyself. You are doing everything you can to know who you are, to know thyself in all ways, okay? But what happens is, and this is where the karma piece comes in, is in a lifetime, let's just say, I, you know, in another lifetime, some of you, well, many of you, we've known each other, duh. Okay, so let's just say in past lives, we had some really intense experiences, you know, maybe betrayals, abandonments, well, that gets anchored in, so then we're gonna do another lifetime to try and unravel that. Oh, we didn't unravel it that time? Oh, let's try it again next time. Oh, we didn't unravel it that time? 
Oh, okay, well, how about the next lifetime? And this goes on and on for hundreds, thousands, and thousands of lifetimes. And then it becomes called karma because reaping and sowing, I hurt you, you hurt me, back and forth, back and forth. What's actually happening on a soul level is we are trying to know thyself in the depths of our own pain, in the depths of our own emotional experience. And here's the thing, how many of you really face crisis to the point to where you allow yourself to know who you are, what you're experiencing, what it really feels like, what it really is like in this physical body while experiencing heartache, while experiencing shattering, while experiencing devastation. Who are you in that? How many of you have sat in your body and truly died to your own emotions completely? This is what's being asked. This is what it means to know thyself, to know yourself in the depths of all of your emotions, whatever they are. Most people are um, not willing, don't want to, or afraid to really drop in. And even people that have been doing a lot of emotional work throughout their lives, I mean, I can't tell you how many people I've seen in my career that people come to me and say, I've been crying and crying. I've been doing all this emotional work. I've been, you know, for, for 20 years, 30 years, and nothing's changing. That's because they're not really doing their emotional work. What they're doing is they're, they're telling the story over and over and crying about that story the same over the same old, same old repeatedly, okay? The truth is, is when you are unraveling the subconscious and when you are knowing thyself, in the depths of your emotions, I'm going to tell you right now, there is no mind thought, there's no mind chatter, there's no awareness of anything other than that emotion that you are experiencing. When you do that, the energy literally unwinds. See people, when I, when I used to have what was called the Renaissance Center, I had that for 13 years. It was based on emotional healing, shamanism, consciousness, and I would have people that would come and see me that, uh, that had done a lot of work with Osho, Rajneesh. You know, I, have, I, I know people personally who were very close to him. They were on the ranch. They lived there on and on. But I had many, many, many clients of his. After, this was after he died. He was gone. And this is in the Bay Area. And they would come in and... I would have them come into an emotion, they start emoting. There's a difference between emoting and authentically feeling. If you're not authentically feeling and you are emoting, things are not gonna change, okay? So these people would emote, they knew how to emote really, really well, because that's what they did, a lot of. I mean, they're not, not negating the power that did happen, the big movements that did happen, the clearing that did happen, and the the people that I ended up working with were the ones who did not break through. They were still stuck in their emotions because they were emoting. When you're emoting, you do not know thyself in the depths of these emotions. So when I, when I also witnessed over, over years and years and years of working with people and taking them into the deep, deepest recesses of their subconscious, when people completely surrendered to these deep emotions, I could watch the energy stuck in the core core depths of their subconscious, literally unravel, unwind, dissipate, and gone. And their lives were changed just like that, okay? So I do know that if you don't do your deep emotional work, if you don't know how to surrender, then you're not truly releasing all your energies. You're not releasing the wounding. You're not releasing all your past lives. Karma, you're not releasing it, okay? So what the good news too is that in this time period, I'm gonna go ahead and use the label karma because many, many people can identify or associate karma as something that they can literally understand, okay? Like, okay, you hurt me, I hurt you. But what I'm talking about is a much higher aware awareness, a much higher consciousness of what you are really doing here. What are you really doing, okay? so. Karma keeps you stuck in, okay, well, you know, last lifetime, 
I betrayed you, I cheated on you. Well, this lifetime you're gonna do the same to me, okay? But we're gonna keep staying stuck in this, this dynamic that keeps going back and forth, back and forth. What I'm saying is wake up that you are co-creator, that you have agreed to have experiences because you on some level at the really high levels believed that you could know thyself in these ways and move forward on to the next piece of your evolution, the next wounding or the next consciousness that you that you can be ready for once you release this old dance that goes back and forth. Okay, so what I want to do today is I want to unravel your attachment to your belief in karma. Okay, because if you can if you can start waking up to who you are, creator incarnate, divine being, okay, full of light, full of love, underneath all the layers of wounding, all the experiences of poor me, victimization, you hurt me, I hurt you. No, we got to wake up. It's time to wake up. That's what, you know, quantum consciousness is about is waking up. So peace is getting under and trying them on, trying it on, okay? So <clears throat> with that feeling, like the belief in karma, okay? So what it does is it keeps you bound in a mindset. It keeps you hooked into the collective consciousness. It also keeps you stuck and it keeps you blind, blinded by the light, okay? So we want to be blinded by the light in a good way, all right? So what I want to do is we want to start bringing in more light into your energy field, but first we got to start cleaning up some of your belief in the karma situation, okay? Um, oh, but even with that said, I like I said, I'm going to dance with the karma because this is what people believe, okay? So we are going to be doing some self-mastery with karma. and it's going to be awesome. So lots of cool stuff is going to be happening, new things coming up, but karma is a big one. You know, we really want to help people dissolve this belief, dissolve that hooking in to the karma belief systems. Okay. Collective consciousness has been going on a long time. Okay. So <clears throat> let's do, let's play with this a little bit. All right. So Right now, what I'd like each of you to do is I want you to bring your awareness and just kind of sit behind your eyes, okay? This is how we start to feel our bodies. This is how we feel the emotions. This is how we feel what's churning inside our subconscious. We may not know what that is. We may not be able to access it, but the more we can rest in our own bodies, keeping our awareness behind our eyes, then the more we become aware of the, what the body's actually experiencing, okay? So right now, awareness behind your eyes so that when you're looking out through your eyes you li you literally can see all you know the 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 occipital around the bone the bones the skin all of that around your face but you can see it because now you're having awareness you're not just looking out now you're aware of looking out but looking out from behind your eyes so to speak okay now as you do that, I want you to come deeper into your body because you can. Now, as you take your awareness from behind your eyes, now take your awareness and let's just come right on down to the heart center, okay? Heart center, heart chakra. I want you to take your awareness as though you're looking through your body, looking right through this, this heart sh chakra, as though your eyes are now looking out from here, okay? You may need to close your eyes to do that. You may need to put your hand on this area. So you can take your awareness right to your hand and meet your hand in the heart center, heart chakra, and then be looking out from there, okay? It's a little tricky, but it's still very possible to do. You can do it. It's just shifting and moving your awareness. It's kind of like becoming aware, like if you've got an ache in your body, let's just say, you got your, let's just say you, your ankle is hurting, okay? You can take your awareness and meet that energy with, you know, just go by going down into that part of your body. So that's all we're doing. We're taking our awareness. We're coming right into the heart center. Now, I want you just to not use your mind, people. See if you can just not use the mind, okay? But I'm going to be throwing some things out to you and let it hit, hit your, your heart center and let it hit that knowing, so to speak, okay? Or that, let it hit that, that frequency of wounding. That's what's going to happen. All right, so now I want you to start to just within your own mind's eye, within your own self, 
I want you just to start saying things like, I deserve to suffer. I deserve to be punished. There's, I am bad. I have done atrocities. Now, as, you're, as I'm saying these words, notice what happens in your body. Notice if there's an emotional reaction. Notice if there's a churning. Notice your body itself. Notice if there's any frequencies, any, any reactions to what I'm saying, okay? Now, and then now wear this hat, okay? I am, I am pure. I am pure divine light. I can do no wrong. Okay, I can do no wrong. No matter what I have done, it has not been wrong or bad. Okay, what's happening? Notice, notice, notice. Notice your reactions. Notice your thoughts. Notice sensations in the body. Notice mind chatter. Just notice. Just be aware. Don't make it good. Don't make it right. Don't make it wrong. Don't make it bad. Just notice. Okay? Because here's what's happening. You've been, we've all been taught throughout history. You know, we pass it down to our children that you're born bad. You're born in sin. There's something wrong with you. Okay? So we bought into that. We have believed that. But also, there are other frequencies in your energy field that are keeping these beliefs in place. It's holding you in the grips of, I'm bad, I'm wrong, I'm born in sin. Yes, I, yeah, I don't deserve, okay? So there's a frequency, there's an energy frequency in your body when you think along those lines that I'm bad. I do bad, I'm wrong, I hurt people, I've done things, okay? There's a frequency in the body. There's, a, there's like a grid frequency in your body that I'm going to take out. We want to take this out, okay? Because what it's doing, it's kind of like, um, it's like, a, um, like an anchoring in, like it has a, it has a quality of like a, like almost like a little grid. It's got little veins, little frequencies. It's not, it's more of an implant that's been implanted in your, in your energy field, in your body. And it's, it's holding you and keeping you more stuck in these beliefs that you have done something wrong. Okay. That you are bad, that you don't deserve. Okay. So what we want to do is see if we can start on hooking this for you. Alrighty. Now, but what I need from you is there's also, there might even be a feeling or a sense of, wow, I've done things wrong. I, I really can't let go of this. I need to be punished. I, I need to have retribution. It's not right for me to get away with things. You know, whatever these feelings are, it's like it keeps you stuck in the self-sabotage because you are doing self-sabotage. You are doing self-undermining. You are actually literally more in control of the negativity that's happening to you than anybody else, okay? So the more you can let yourself just feel into that, that frequency, that feeling that, that, ha that has that grip, you know, like, oh, yeah, it might even be like, oh, there's no way we can let go of all our karma. There's no way we can be liberated or freed from the wrong we have done, from the harm we have done. See, there, that, that frequency right there, I want you to actually say those words in your mind's eye. Yeah, I'm not going to be free from what I've done. I'm going to have to pay. There's consequences. Okay, so I, what I'm looking for is I want you to, as I'm having you do this, what you're doing is you're lighting up these attachments. You're lighting up this grid, this frequency this, that's keeping things stuck in your physical body. Okay, so as you're saying these words, I'm tracking your energy field uh, just to see how it all plays out. Yeah, it's like, it's like tentacles, you know, there's tentacles that go all over, that hook into the collective consciousness, there's tentacles into each other, buying into, you know, these beliefs, because that's what they are, their beliefs and their conclusions, all right? When you're free of beliefs and conclusions, you meet the world differently, you're not holding and ho having these, this energy that says, I deserve to, be, to suffer in some way. No, it's more like, wow, liberation, yes, I'm a divine being full of light and I am full of love. I have compassion, understanding for all of humanity, all of humanity, okay? No judgment, no making wrong, no making right, 
Okay, so right now, we're just gonna move some energy. So let's go ahead back in. Now really light up, what I want you to light up for me, if you can feel or sense inside of your own self, anything that says, hurt me, punish me, okay? I deserve to be, I de yeah, I deserve to be ha live in lack, to not have, oh, right there, right there, right there. My heart's, oh, right there, you guys, right there, got it. Okay, there's, a, there's something right here. In your heart's desire, you don't get to have your heart's desire, okay? I want you to see if you can feel into that. Okay, think about, yes, I'm, my heart's desire, whatever that is, my heart's desire, I really, truly want and deserve my, heart, my heart's desire. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now notice, notice, feel, feel into that. There's a resistance to that. There's something blocking that. There's something in the way of that, okay? Hold that for me for a moment. Just hold it. Hold the feeling right underneath, behind the sense of, I deserve. I want my heart's desire. I get to have my heart's desire. Mm -mm -mm. Right there, people. Right there. I can see it right there. Okay, good. Sink into that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sink in a little bit more into that feeling because now I want you to go after that feeling that just says, no, I don't. I don't get my, I'll never have what I want. I'll never have my heart's desire. I don't deserve it. Everybody else gets it. Other people get it. I don't get it. Right there. Hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, get out of the way, people. We're just going to start moving that. I'm Now what I want you to do, I want you to really, truly give me the going ahead to move this out of your energy field. What I mean by that is find the yes. Even though the still this frequency is still holding that, I want you to find the yes that says yes. Yes. I want this move. I say yes to releasing this grip. I say yes to releasing the hold on me that keeps me holding on to the deserving of lack, suffering, okay? Give me the go ahead here, people. I wanna see a bright, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold the frequency of gold in your heart center and echo that out to me with a big yes. Yes, I'm giving the go ahead. I'm giving you permission, giving me permission to move this out. Everyone do that. There we go, beautiful, nice. Good, now to get out of the way, people, get out of the way, just listen to my voice, just get out of the way. Now I'm gonna start, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go right into these frequencies. I'm gonna be moving this grid pattern out of your energy field, unhooking you from the collective consciousness. I'm gonna go direct to your higher level, super consciousness itself. Give me, yep, new paradigm, new paradigm. It is time, the word has already been spoken. The time is now. Good, 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 beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Now at those highest levels, super consciousness levels. Yeah, good. Those aspects of you, the highest levels of you are downloading and also commanding the lower levels, which can also be your higher levels. But that's a super consciousness. It's a lower level. There we go. Light, 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 light. Bring in light, bring consciousness and, mm -hmm, to your higher levels. There we go. Now we're going to start sending it down to the lower levels, so the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, etheric, light body, Merkaba body, mental body, spiritual body. There we go. Light, 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 light. Consciousness, consciousness, consciousness. Coming in, in, in. Beautiful. Now, right in that heart center throughout the physical body. I'm just going to be reaching in and starting to pull out, 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 out these mechanisms that are hardwired, anchored in. Whoa, 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 yeah, anchored in big time. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was that? Okay, yeah, we got other, oh, oh, good. Okay, yeah, finding the other things that are also anchoring these frequencies in. Good, there we go. Yeah, don't need it, not the truth. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. Reaping and sowing, back and forth, hurting back and forth. It's over, oh, paradigm. Over, 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 over. Now I'm gonna start stirring things up in inside of the physical body because we've got conflict happening. Yep, trying to anchor and hold on to the old ways. Uh-huh, because the new ways are different, the new ways are unknown. It hasn't ever happened before on planet Earth to the level that it's gonna be that it's going to be happening. And all the blackness has to come to the surface, has to be exposed, has to be revealed so it can be released. Contra yep, conclusions, 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 beliefs, beliefs, belief. Oh, there we go. Show me the beliefs, beliefs and karma. Show me. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 people. Wow. Mm. Wow. 
dense, dark, black. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, come, come, come. Higher level, super consciousness, shine light, shine light, shine conscious light, 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 light onto these beliefs, dissolve them, uh-huh, and all the discarnates that are holding them in place. Whoa, they got lots of discarnates holding this stuff in place. Nice, let's get this going. All right, all right, all right. Okay, emissaries present, the lovers present. Come, I want, okay, I want the big guns now. I want the high level beings. I want the archangels. There we go. There we go. I want the light beans as well. Light beans, light beans, light, 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 light beans. Come. I'm, I got to blow some light up. Shine it up. Light, light, light. Light beans. There we go. Here they come. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Now let's start disengaging. Let's start releasing these discarnates that are holding these in place. Let's start releasing these mechanisms, these devices, these implants. Uh huh. The wiring as well. The wire, I want the wiring of the brain. Mm -hmm. Light beans, light beans, stand behind everyone. One behind each person, stand behind. Shine the light, shine the light. I'm gonna take my awareness as well. I'm gonna stand behind each and every one of you. I'm gonna begin to shine light. Shining light, light, pure awareness, light, 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 light. Sending light, 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 light. Activating, activating the pituitary. Yeah, good. Activating in the mind, the brain itself. Activating. Mm -hmm. Good. Clear, 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 clear. Oh, yeah. See, karma is also an excuse, people. An excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, good. Now shining light into the heart center. Activating all the chakras. Uh-huh. Line it. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Now deep, deep, deep inside the subconscious conclusions and beliefs. Yeah, that you've done wrong, you deserve to be punished, you've caused harm, you de deserve retribution. Yeah, you've hurt others, you've done atrocities, you've done crimes, you've done hate crimes. Yeah, 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 you've done yeah, all kinds of heinous crimes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's get that frequency that you're holding in the body of what we call karma. It has a density to it, it has a color to it, it has shape and form. But now we're going to start releasing and lifting up and out of your body the karma that you've been holding on to. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to start spinning the energy. I'm going to go right into that first chakra. I'm actually going to use a crystal frequency, a pure crystal frequency, beautiful, clear. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Light it up. Mm -hmm. Now, there we go. And I start spinning that crystal frequency all the way down that first chakra. We're going to start right at that first chakra. This is life, death, survival. Much karma in their beliefs. We're going to move all the way through all the centers because every center, every chakra has a, a, a holding on to some kind of belief of karma. Okay? That you're going to be punished. You're going to reap and sow. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be judged. You're going to be condemned. You're going to go to hell. All of that. There you go. Light, 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 light. Crystal light, crystal light, crystal light. Truth, truth, truth. I want the truth. The pure divine light, truth. Light. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. We're in that first chakra still. Spinning energy, spinning energy. Yeah, life does survival. Clearing out these frequencies coming out. There we go. Good. Light it up. Light it brighter, 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 brighter. Mm -hmm. Let's burn it. Let's burn this off. Burn it off. There we go. Yeah, some of you got like major weights on your shoulders. We want to start lifting this up and off, off the shoulders. Oh, some of you are holding on. Mm -mm -mm. Higher level super consciousness, command it. That's it, good. Higher, lower levels, good. Start clearing these energies, clearing these frequencies. Nice, beautiful. Okay, we're going to keep moving up. So we're going to maintain that movement, that, sh that crystal frequency, that lower for sh chakra area, but now we're gonna start moving it. Mm -hmm. Moving it right up, right up, right up, right up, all the way up, right to the crown chakra. Now we're gonna be blasting open that crown chakra, letting the energy move right through the frequency of karma, the belief of karma. Yeah, yeah, good, clear, 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 clear. Yeah, it's darkness. Karma is like a black, dark energy, sticky, gooey, like tar. All over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm going to be amping up. Yep. Good. Now the intention is to literally release the body of the hold it has on its own karma. Okay. So now we're going to start spinning, 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 spinning in the very core of your being. Getting bright. Mm -hmm, good. Good. That's crystalline frequency of light. 
moving through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts breaking down the texture, so to speak. It starts breaking down the frequency of the karma. So we're spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, clearing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dissolving the tar, the goo. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Good. Clear, clear, clear. Coming out, 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 out. Releasing it, releasing it. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, hang on. Something just presented. Beautiful. Okay, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hang on a second. Is this them? Is this truly them? Mm-hmm. All right, people. I got a frequency of your divine energy that's presented. It can come in because of all the black karma belief set stuff. Okay, good. That divine frequency that you are. Mm-hmm. Good. So now as I'm standing behind you, your divine frequency is going to stand right between me and you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Now start stepping into the physical body, this divine frequency. Pushing even more karmic belief frequencies, attachments to karma, mm -hmm. excuses that you use, using karma as an excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stepping in and creating in that first chakra, yeah, that crystal frequency, mm -hmm. anchoring in, anchoring in, anchoring in, landing in the body. There we go. Coming in, in, in. Excellent. Beautiful. Good, 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 good. Consciousness, good. Now that frequency. Divine frequency, divine light that you actually are. Moving into the physical body, going into the brain, into the organs. That's right. Stepping in, stepping in. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Shifting, mm -hmm. shifting the consciousness. Good. Now from that first chakra, second chakra, releasing all those beliefs, conclusions, discarnates. Let's get these discarnates out that are also holding on to the karmic belief system. Old ways, old paradigm. Clear, 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 clear. Go, go, go. Good. Now that grid pattern, that, that hooking in, the collective consciousness. All those little the, you know, like tentacles that go right in and hook into all the different belief systems that, that we've co-created over, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, maybe even millions of years. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going direct again to your highest levels. I'm going to be talking directly to the super consciousness that you are the highest level of you. I'm going to be asking now on your behalf that you unplug. Help these beings, help the being, help, yes, to unplug, to disengage. They don't need it. They're ready for the new paradigm. They're ready to move forward into the new paradigm, letting go of the old ways. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All your cords into this dance of this world. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, uh -uh. that's right good disengaging disengaging now what we're going to hook into we're going to hook into a much higher frequency of light and love so now as you're pulling out as you're disengaging from the collective consciousness those frequencies those threads those cords that have hooked in needing to belong wanting to be a part of wanting to be like others yeah not to be different not to be separate now we're going to begin to look in a different direction rather than looking down into the earth now we're going to begin to look right up above us because there's a beautiful light shining bright 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 right above now we're going to take all those tentacles that have been buying into hooking into the collective consciousness and we're going to start taking those frequencies those cording energies and we're going to start hooking them right into the light right into that divine beautiful bright shining light full of sparkling brilliant bright gorgeous light yeah, and as we hook in, whoa, 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 even that frequency now begins to come into those tentacles. There we go. Now, mm -hmm, now we're going to be activating higher levels of consciousness, higher levels of awareness. There we go. And that light, 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 light that we're hooking into, the truth, the true divine being, creator incarnate. That's what this frequency is echoing, echoing, holding. There we go, letting it come right down, 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 down to those tentacles into the body, activating throughout the entire energy body, the frequency of the body, the cells, the DNA, the blood, the bones, the tissues, the muscle, the fascia. Yes, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. You can literally start to feel an activation happening. Maybe some of you are getting goosebumps, some of you are feeling the frequencies. Just keep relaxing, saying yes, 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 yes to the truth, to divine being, divine being, creator incarnate. Yes, 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 beautiful. Yes, now we're going to go to the brain, start activating the brain itself. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I unplug neural pathways, the negative neural pathways, and start plugging in the positive neural pathways, the truth of who you are, and the telomeres, all the frequencies in your body being activated. The truth, the truth, creator incarnate, divine being. Yes, that's who I am. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to stay plugged into this. We're going to stay plugged into that rather than the collective consciousness, which is all about negativity. The con collective consciousness is the dark frequency, the negative energies. It is not full of light. Okay. Don't, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Now we're going to let that light start to come into the heart center even more, brighter, brighter, brighter. We're going to activate all the chakras, start spinning them into the subconscious conclusions. Yeah, good. Bringing even more light, more and more, 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 more light coming in, in, in. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, go ahead and start saying the words again. I am creator incarnate. I'm a divine being. And I am love at the very core of my being. Unconditional love, acceptance of all that is. No need to change, no need to make different, no need to judge, just pure, 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 open heart, pure light, unconditional love moving through the body, okay? Good, beautiful. <clears throat> Excellent, nice, good. Now we're just going to start anchoring this into your physical body, your mental body, emotional body, the third body, light body, or spiritual body. There we go. Anchoring it in. Mm -hmm. Good. Then anchoring you into the earth itself because you are, you do have a physical body. So we're just anchoring you in. Beautiful. Nice. All righty, people. So now we're just going to let your bodies kind of acclimate to this. You, like you this will be available of course so you'll be able to listen to it again uh tell your friends get people on board you know we're offering all kinds of cool stuff so you know there's lots of free things happening so this is what you want to let people know about take advantage of all the free stuff okay all righty good 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 all right excellent good now just taking your awareness and again be behind your eyes okay and then I want you just to open your eyes and then just be looking out from your eyes, looking out into your world, wherever you are, whatever room you're in, whoever, you know, if you're by yourself or what, wherever you are. Now, just looking through your eyes and just noticing it might somehow feel a little bit quieter. Somehow the mind might be a little more relaxed. Maybe some of the reactions or, you know, thoughts might be smoother. Okay. So we want to just keep activating and keep anchoring in and keep releasing false beliefs, misperceptions of reality, conclusions that keep you in suffering, okay? And again, to remind you, you are creator incarnate, you are a divine being, and you are creating, co-creating your life 100%. Anchor these things in, really own it, claim it, and it is empowering, it will empower you to be able to make different choices, to be able to make different decisions, you know, when you're faced with crisis or when you're faced with, whoa, no, I don't believe that. That's not the truth, okay? So you'll be able to, uh, you know, start to really feel and know who you really are, okay? So to, um, people, the uh, quantum consciousness is now 45 minutes, not an hour anymore. Um, so it's 45 minutes. We'll be ending here in just a, just a minute. But um, <clears throat> so I just want to remind everyone, you know, take advantage of what we got. We, we maintain and continue to give free clearings. Um, you know, there's a lot that's being done. We also have the Q&A, Facebook Q&A people. So if you, if you don't have our newsletter or aren't getting notifications, get, you know, then sign up for our newsletter so that you'll know what's happening. Okay. So. <clears throat> Again, just remember, keep anchoring in, creator incarnate, divine being. Same in you, same in me. When you start owning that yourself, you start to see others in that way. And when you see others as that, it's a game changer. All righty, cool. All right, people, so, um, oh, just a reminder, we do have a free group clearing today. 
Now I know I get a little mixed up on time, but I think it's at three o'clock my time, Denver time, mountain time. You can check on our website, but I believe we have a free group clearing. I think it's called Not My Job or something like that. I'm not remembering, but you can find it. But yeah, join me for free another today, another uh, opportunity to get more stuff cleared and raise your awareness, raise your consciousness. And hopefully I'll see you, see you later. Okay, people. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for being here. Spread the word. Tell people we're, we're on a quest to wake people up. Alrighty. Till next time.